Africa, the first fly that we're going to tie is the rabbit pupa. And the rabbit pupa is the uh, imitation that um, uh, imitates the larval stage of the midge. And not only is it a great, great trout catcher, it's a fantastic and um, simple fly to tie. Only two materials needed. So let's start tying the rabbit pupa. Okay, first we'll start off by attaching the thread at the two third mark and we'll wind our way down to the bend of the hook. Uh, cut the excess off and we will stop when we are in line with the barb. Okay, now we need to take ourselves a strand of peacock hill from the sword. This is essential that you take it from the sword and we need to remove the flue from that st the, uh, the stem. Okay, now once we've removed the flue, we'll have a bare stem of the peacock curl, and this is what gives the uh, segmentation of the natural insect. Now we attach it at this position right here. Then we advance the thread back to the two third position. Again, removing the excess there. We'll just uh, snip that off. And now we will wind the peacock herald stem back towards the two third position. And this can be very fiddly um, and can um, be, well, not only fiddly, but it can also be, uh, you can break the actual stem uh, easily. So you need to take it nice and gentle as you wind it back. And as you'll notice, this is a great representation of the midge body and of its segmentation of its body. So, need to get it all nice and tightly bound. Now this fly, as I said before, was uh, introduced to me from Andrew Scott and um, very easy to tie. Um, the only probably uh, disadvantage of it is it's a one trout fly and what I mean by that is when a trout takes this fly you'll cut this peacock carol stem quite easily. So it's just a matter of tying up uh, a good number of them and then uh, retying them then when you get back home. Um, as I say it can be very Things can get in your way, and as you can see here, it can be very fiddly. Okay, we're now we're just about at the two-third mark. And now we will tie it off. Okay. So we've tied it off. Now the next requirement is rabbit fur. Now we need the under fur of the rabbit fur without any guard hairs. Make sure there's no guard hairs in the um, doubling material that we're using. So there's your rabbit skin, you need it from there. So we take the under fur of the rabbit skin and we spin it onto the thread. Make sure you work your way from the bottom up. And then we wind the thorax. We need to now create the thorax of the midge pupa. Make sure it's nice and tight.
my subscribers are getting great information from the journal. Um, this is just one. Um, this is just one aspect of the links that I've created. As I say, it's fairly simple, quite a tight. We've uh, now just need the whip finish to apply. Cut the bread off. And now what I like to do here is just get my um, needle and just Pick out a bit of the uh, fibres in the fibrex just to add a bit of life to the fly. So this fly will sit in the surface form and make sure it just absolutely love it. Best pupa imitation I've ever used. So there you have it. The rabbit pupa. Thank you very much and talk to you next time. Thank you.